Hey, Mark Rice here. I will show you how to create a beautiful animation like this. We are in After Effects now. Before I start, I need to import the illustration. I will do this in the Project tab. You can turn it on here in Windows or just press Ctrl plus Zero key. So I will click the right mouse button here in Project, go to Import and hit File. I have to locate the illustration file, select it and click Import. Here select Composition, then Layer Size and hit OK. Cool! Here are the files, the composition and layers which I created in Illustrator. I will double click on the composition and we are ready. First I will start with the blue planet. I have the basic shape and I will turn on the texture layer. These two parts are the basis of the texture. I copy it twice and move one part to the left and the other to the right. It's a simply trick for a good look. Before I start with animation, I will show you how to set the timeline duration. The animation takes 6 seconds. If you want to change it, go to composition, then composition settings and change it here. Always set one frame extra, because when I move the time ruler to the end, doesn't include the last frame, so you will need that extra frame. Ok, it's time for the animation. The texture will be moved from right to the left. I will select the texture, click P key to open position settings of the layer and create the keyframe on the first frame. At the last frame, I will create one more keyframe and move the texture. Now I am trying to find the same texture position on the first and the last keyframe. I think that I got it. Now I want to hide everything outside of the circle. I will use a mask for it. So I will copy the blue circle. The duplicated layer will be the mask. I will move it above the texture layer and rename it. Now I will select the texture layer and here choose Alpha Matte. Ok, I did what I wanted. It works perfectly. As you can see, I have too many layers. The working process can be hard with a huge number of layers. So just hide some of these layers. I will select the blue planet together with the texture and hit this icon. After that, I will press Shy button here. The layers are hidden and the workflow will be better. Now I will animate the planet glow. So I will select the glow layer and press S keyboard button. I can change the size of the light. Just create a keyframe on the first frame. Here in the middle change the one to 90%. The last keyframe it should be the same one as the first one. Cool, I'm done with the blue planet. Ok, I will hide the glow layers as well. Now it's time for the red planet animation. Select the layer, press R key and create the first keyframe. I will rotate it once. I will type 1 here to the second keyframe at the end. The animation can be even better if I animate the small star. I will animate it in the opposite direction from the red planet. I selected the small star layer. Before I create a movement around the red planet, I need to move the center point of the star from here to the center of the red planet. I am going to use the pen behind for it. Just select, hold and drag. Now I will press R key for the rotation settings and create the first keyframe. For the opposite direction I will use the minus. So the second keyframe will be minus 1. I will hide the layer. Ok, now I will animate the small planet. Just select the layer, press R, create the first keyframe and one more on the last frame. It can be minus 1. I can animate this star as well. I will do this as I did before. Move the center point of the star and create a movement around the planet. Here I can type 2. So the star movement will be faster a bit. If you want to achieve dynamic animation, try with different speed and directions of movement. Ok, it's time for the clouds. I will select the layer. 
press P key and create a position keyframe to the first frame. In the middle of the animation, I will move the clouds up a bit and create a new keyframe. I will copy the first keyframe to the last frame. It's pretty awesome. Ok, now I will animate the stars with the opacity. Hit the keyboard button and create the keyframe to the first frame. The stars animation will be faster a bit, so it will take only 10 frames. The opacity will be 50% to the 5th frame. Ok, the last keyframe will be 100%. It's good, but when I increase the duration of the animation, the stars blinking will stop. So I need to create a loop. You can copy the keyframes, but I will show you the easiest way. Press and hold Alt keyboard button and click stopwatch icon here. After that, type here the loop code. Ok, I created the loop. Yeah, I finished this part of the course and now it's time for the character animation. Hey, 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 it's time to boost the animation. So I will start with the yellow guy. First I will animate the legs and the arms. If I start to rotate the arm, this detail can be better. So I will move the rotation point to the shoulder. Pen behind will be perfect for it. Just select the point, hold and drag to the shoulder. Now it's good. I will do this with the other arm and legs as well. If I move the body, the other parts of the body are still here, so I need to connect these parts. I will select the legs and arms layers. Click the spiral icon, hold and drag to the body layer. Cool, ok, it's time for the animation, 10 frames will be enough. I will create the first keyframe for the rotation settings. For the second keyframe, I will use minus 70. For the last keyframe, I will copy the first keyframe. I will repeat the process with the other arm. For the right arm, I will use plus instead minus, because I will animate the arm in the opposite direction. Copy the first keyframe to the last frame. I will repeat these steps with the legs. The left leg is finished, now select the right leg layer, press S key and create the keyframes. Ok, this will be the character animation. If you move the timeline a bit, the animation will stop at 10 frames. So I need to create a loop. I will create a loop as I did with the stars. Just select the layer, hold the Alt key and hit the stopwatch icon. Here type the loop code. I will copy the text and paste it for the other arm and the legs. Now I have the loop animation. The last step is the movement around the planet. So I will pick up the pen behind tool and move the central point here. Select the body layer, hit R key and create the first keyframe. Here type 1 for the full movement around the planet. Cool, I am over with the yellow character. It's time for the green one. Before I start with the green alien, I will hide the layers of the yellow character. I will use the same steps as I did with the yellow guy. First, move the rotation points, after that make the connection between the arms and legs with the body. Here I have two more layers, the head and the mouth, so I will connect these layers with the body as well. A 
as you can see, everything is connected and ready for the animation. The movement will take 10 frames. Now it's time for the keyframes. I will do the same as I did with the yellow guy. Don't forget to add text for the loop. animate the legs and arms and hide them all. Here I have one more details, the mouth. I will select the mouth layer, press P key and create the keyframe on the first frame. I will copy it for the last keyframe. Here in the middle of the animation, I will raise the mouth a bit. Yeah, just add the loop code and the green character will be ready for the movement around the planet. Move the character here. Now I will change the position of the central plane. Create the first keyframe and separate it from the yellow character. Now I will create a keyframe to the last frame. Just type one here. Cool, the whole animation is over. And it looks like this. It was my pleasure to share this with you. I hope that you enjoyed it and stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Peace.